Nashville Stadium to take on the Tigers. First time that these teams have ever faced one another. Also the first time in this. Devion Bryant. Yeah, Devion Bryant, he's the guy that's. As Ian Souter puts it up. And back to field it is Johnson, and he'll take a knee. So we'll start things on the 25-yard line. Containing the pass on defense. As Bryant is back, he's under some pressure, and the ball comes loose. TSU will maintain control. Bryant is going to keep it himself, bounces out, and he will go out of bounds at about the 25. -yard. Quickly, and there you see the keys to the game for Gardner-Webb. Caldwell has some time, and he's going to find his man. A lot of yardage gained there by Brennan McGuire. Caldwell flips it over, and the big guy, that's Jonathan Burns, 6'4", two for Burns, they use him a lot. And here's Gaither as he steps into the end zone. On all afternoon, the guy that really sets the tone. We've talked a lot about Caldwell, but as the afternoon Gaither. goes. Yeah, you see Nari Gaither just gets the straight handoff. Nice block by number 60. And it is up and it is good. Of only two teams, the Tigers are in the Big South OVC that have that as Rouse again pushes his way forward. Three receivers off to the left. Has a little space. He's going to juke, and he has some space to run. First down and more. Out to the 40. Bryant rolling out to his right, throwing in some traffic, and that's going to be a first down. So a first down. Looking deep. Now he pulls it down, still looking, and he's able to find it and complete the pass. Down. Leading TSU just inside seven minutes here in the first. And that's going to be a loose ball. Gardner Webb comes away. Reps are signaling that it's going the other way. Bryant has some time, but the pocket collapsing. Still passes it, and it's complete. Tonus Wagner worth tens of millions of dollars. Here Bryant is looking across the field and unable there to complete it to Johnson lead as TSU and Bryant is able to take it himself and he pushes forward a little, chip, a little bit as here he'll hand it off actually he's going to keep it himself and go down toward the 10 twists around still on his feet moving moving and they're saying touchdown Cooper again gets a little help from um, excuse me defense coordinator John Reardon for Gardner Webb so Lowry with the extra points, it's good. Here Caldwell hands it off, Gaither bounces out to the left side, down to the 40, down to the 30, and pushed out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. That first penalty. So here's the second and eight, here's Rouse bouncing out to the left side, where he'll combine Big South OVC Football Association as Caldwell quickly unloads, and that's gonna be a first down and then more as ever. fired over here. That's going to be complete. Bryant looking there across the middle. Nice catch. First down. It's an incomplete pass. But eight, just north of 11 minutes to play here in the first half as the handoff goes. And keeping on his feet, there was. Running Bulldogs gonna go for it. Caldwell across the middle, off one plus feet. Hustling down is Darius Huff. Oh, that Bryant, three of nine, 44 yards so far in this game. Let's say three of as Bryant has some time, throws it across the middle, and that's gonna be complete. It's here inside at Nissan Stadium. First time Gardner-Webb has played here inside the stadium, period. That was the first play there, not too much going. Guys that NFL scouts are big on here. Bryant takes it over to the right side and across the 40-yard line and close to a first down. Looks like he'll be a cup at this point. Further ahead structurally than the past few seasons that he's been here. As we say that, Gaither getting the football and pushing. So a third down and two. Here's Caldwell, quickly unloads and finds the tight ends who is going to be a good Elias missed the spring, but is an incredible talent, and they would figure out a way to get him involved. Rouse 
Also in there for TSU as he pushes forward. As he drops back, has a little space, now fires across the middle. That's going to be a first down and some space off to the races and into the end of play. Traylon Ellis comes in and he's a smart a foot race to the end zone that he wins. Touchdown, Tennessee State Tigers. Yeah, they that receiver on stride and just mm -hmm. let him do his thing. As Foster's kick is good, that this Gardner Webb offense, toughest one that they've faced so far and will face this season, as looking down the field and into a TSU defense. Caldwell calls for it, now flips it over. That's going to be Gaither who gets it down. It's about the 42 before. As his kick here is up. And this time it is through. And he gets some redemption. Matthew Caldwell and Gaither hooking up here as Gaither at 40 30, still on his feet to the 20 before he is tossed down. That was Monroe. As he goes in motion, Ellis going to keep it himself, push up, get a few, still on his feet. Quick handoff, and there's Gaither up the sideline, and he'll step out before being. Caldwell thought about getting it to Gaither. Instead, will pass it across the middle, and that is going to be complete to Ellis. Quick handoff, and pushing forward there is Rouse, out to about the 16, 17-yard line for TSU here this evening, as Rouse will take it, bounces off one defender, and across the 30 before he's brought down. That's a great. Quickly unloads, not much there, but staying with it and pushing forward is Karate Brent. 8.34 to play here in the third as the handoff there goes. That's going to be Jaden Brown. Caldwell shuffles it again. And again, that's going to be Brown before he's knocked out of bounds. Yeah, that's the same. And he's a guy that is one of the spotlight guys for the TSU defense. And tonight has been really no difference as Gaither there able to take it. But Tennessee State does have good field position here as Rouse pushes it forward and into the end zone. So, eyes on the mistake by Gardner Webb as Jalen Rouse. Definitive cut. He starts out, cuts it up right there. The offensive line makes the seal. And Jalen Rouse said that we're starting to finally get comfortable. And it is good. Big, Caldwell passing, has his man. That's going to be a first down as he's able to find. Caldwell passes it out. It'll be a gain of a yard or two. Second half. And, and the Bulldogs are very opportunistic. As Coming sets. through. Busting through the line of scrimmage. Big play Anderson, by the sophomore. Yeah, you see big Romel Tarver just whiffs on the play, and Anderson are playing their tails off, making plays when they need to make plays. He's out. As here, Ellis will hand it off. And pushing forward. There's Jalen Rouse. Rouse again. He's Gonna roll out under a lot of pressure. Anderson is there in on it, able to get it out to Hoth who's able to get close to of the season. Here's Ellis, he's got time, and it's across the middle, and that's gonna be a fresh set. Jerron Turner snatches it. So a second down and nine, here's Ellis. He's under some pressure, escaping, and now he's just gonna make sure he doesn't lose the football. Attic, we hadn't seen it until these last couple of plays, but there, he's able to get it off and get a completion. So here, Caldwell. Has a little bit of time and able to get it off. And that's going to be complete. First down to wire. Caldwell here with the handoff. Gaither unable to escape the tracking there. I believe that was Caldwell is back in. And the handoff. So here Caldwell is going to throw it, almost intercepted, into and then out of here, Ellis. Now flips it over. So that's going to be no yardage. Karate Brent. Ellis has some time, 
Now racing over, dumps it off. Ellis will take it across midfield. Nice play by Charlie Jackson. Ellis points on the board. Out to the right, on the run, able to find Karate Brinson, who on will be stopped. But Brinson, longest made 38-yarder at Notre Dame. The kick here is up. It has the distance, and it is good. Boom. Big kick there. Stepping stone to build off of. Mm -hmm. As Caldwell here is able to complete it out across the 30-yard line. Gardner-Webb's offense here able to push forward, and looks like they're going to get that fresh set. Very impressed by Coach Fisher's. Caldwell with his 17th complete. Fighting, fighting to the 40, still on his feet, bringing Boyd, making that happen. Caldwell again. Kareem Page. Gardner Webb is still fighting. Here's Caldwell dishing it out to Gaither. He's got real estate, and he is going to race it into the end zone. Hooking up from Caldwell. And again, Gaither wants to set the tone early and now gets the completion. Coach Trey Phillips set this play up very beautiful. Catch it, turn it up, and run full speed into the end zone. His eyes and playing through that passing window to deflect the pass. Ellis again with some time, and again passing over, and that's going to be picked right. Disney think Deshaun Davis for more. With just over four and a half to play, and the handoff there's going to go to Gaither, who breaks loose and is brought down from behind. From here, with a four, first and ten from the six, and here he's able to get a completion. Ellis has some time. And again, finds this guy, Theron Johnson. There's a first and 10. And I'm gonna get out of bounds there. Okay, a positive. It's been a minute to play here. Ellis has a bit of time. Now he's gonna fire it over and juggling, able to catch it. The team out there, the incomplete Here's Ellis. pass. Got it's a little bit of time as he passes it in. A lot of traffic, it's gonna be knocked away. That was actually going to catch it, I believe, Josiah Wright. And for James Lowry, the hold, the kick, it is up. It has the distance. Is it through? It is. It's good. And teams. Right. That's six seconds. Here's Caldwell. He's got some time across the middle. Now they're going to flip it. And nothing going. And, we and this game is over. And TSU is able to outlast Gardner-Webb 27. Blue thing, the second half. Draylon Ellis had to play comeback ball. He kept his poise through a lot of different situations.